Well, hi guys. Paranormal Video Gamer here. And like a lot of people, um, yesterday I watched part of the Xbox showcase that came out. And one of the things that caught my eye, and you probably recognize the title of the video, was Bethesda's attempt at Starfield. And something that kind of caught my eye that I haven't seen too many people post about. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say it outright. Starfield Bethesda has literally copy and pasted No Man's Sky with Doom. And why do I say that? Well, first off, if you look at the way that Starfield is designed, especially what they've shown so far. It's set up like No Man's Sky, where you use a gun to mine materials, you get a ship, and you're walking around trying to get materials and fighting bad guys. So, that's one thing how they copied No Man's Sky. The other thing that I mentioned was how they copied the last Doom game. Doom Eternal. And, I don't know if a lot of people noticed this, and I don't know why there's a plane going over my head right now, but anyway, one thing that I noticed is when I was watching the, the gameplay, the way that the shotgun that is shown that was reloaded, it's the same animation as Doom Eternal. If you look second by second and you break it down, if it's not the exact animation, it's pretty damn close. Because it looks so similar that I, I just don't get why you would build a game to copy two games and put them in one. Now, my other concern is if they did this with No Man's Sky and Doom... Did they also add elements of Fallout to it? Where certain areas are going to be hazardous to your health while you're walking around. And if they did, I'm going to call it right now. And I'm going to say, like I said, when Anthem was first shown and people told me I was an idiot and I was nuts. And Anthem was going to be the greatest game in the world. And I called it and I said... It is going to be one of the biggest disappointments after the trailer broke. After everybody saw that trailer, we all knew that Anthem was going to suck. I have a copy of Anthem. I got it literally for a dollar. So I'm going to call it. I think when Starfield comes out, it will be one of the greatest bombs. I think it's going to be far worse. Far worse than Fallout 76. I think it's going to be one of the greatest bombs in gaming history after people play it for the first time and realize they copied No Man's Sky and Doom and put it, they mishmashed it together because Bethesda has lost, Todd Howard has lost his goddamn mind. He has lost his mind if he thinks that that's innovation by merging two games into one. That's not innovation. Innovation is changing the way a game is and how it handles and making it from scratch. Putting a different spin on it. Not taking different parts of games and putting them together. That's not innovation. All you're doing is copying and pasting and just putting it together and hoping somebody will pay the $80 that they want for the game. And by the way, I saw that they uh, had for, what was it, like two weeks ago, um, they had mentioned that certain stores were taking pre-orders for Starfield, and I think that's the dumbest thing in the world because of the fact that game's not even close to being done, and yet they're taking pre-orders for it. I hope this trend that is going on Twitter right now continues because this is complete bullcrap, and I'm sorry... But when I see two game franchises 
No Man's Sky and Doom being copied and pasted and mixed together and then they they post a video that is supposedly the most amazing gameplay you'll ever see on Xbox and the first thing that, that pops in your head when you're watching this go oh this is No Man's Sky wait a minute that's Doom that's a problem that is a huge problem and I am grateful that I decided to go with my PS5 first before I got an Xbox because now I am debating whether or not I even want to get an Xbox. And I'm not like a hardcore PlayStation fan. Yes, I am to a point. Yes, I have systems and whatnot, but still, I have never been on the bandwagon for either system, yet... I'm sorry, PlayStation seems like they got their shit together. I mean, at least they have games that interest me, that make me go, hmm, okay, this is this is going to be good. And they haven't disappointed with too many trailers. Like, I'm looking forward to playing some of these really good games that are coming out this summer. I, I'm actually looking forward to it, and I'm also looking forward to God of War and... Um, I'm looking forward to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Collection. These games make me want to play PlayStation over Xbox. And I do have an Xbox One. I do play it. But there's only certain games that I have on Xbox that I enjoy playing. Like Mass Effect. Uh, I have all the Mass Effect games. And I love playing that on Xbox. Because it's a damn good series. Playing the first uh, second and third ones. Now, the first and third ones are definitely my favorite, but still, you know, I, uh, that, that first thing that hit me when I was watching it was, it's No Man's Sky and Doom. Again, look at the evidence. Look at the shotgun animation for Starfield. And you're going to notice very quickly, it is literally the same animation as Doom Eternal with the double barrel shotgun literally the same animation and like i said if it is not the exact same animation they copied it so greatly they probably only removed a frame or two in that animation to make it look a little different but i'm telling you it is the exact same animation i mean i i watched doom eternal um this morning with the shotgun and wow just wow to me that just I, I just can't believe Bethesda and Todd Howard would would put a, a video like that together and put a game like that together without thinking about well fans will know that it's No Man's Sky and Doom I mean that's clear as day well I don't give a shit we'll just put it out anyway we'll make lots of money I, I, I'm, I'm sure and I bet your Microsoft right now is going Oof. Yeah, this thing's trending on Twitter. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a shit show. It is literally going to be a shit show. And if it's not, I will be very surprised. I I've heard so many people right now talking about this and uh it, it's looking really really bad um for Starfield. Like insanely bad and I'm grateful that I got PlayStation now because I did not see anything next generation worth buying for Xbox. Xbox is in some serious shit. They really are buying Bethesda for what they did. And Todd Howard put out a game like that for Xbox. That is going to be holy crap when that game releases because that is going to be a dumpster fire. Is it's going to be a dumpster fire. I mean, I'm calling it now. I called it for Anthem. I called it for a bunch of other games that came out that were absolute dumpster fires. Um, it's it's going to be bad. It's just going to be holy crap bad. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, later all. Can't believe Bethesda. Good God, Todd Howard.